Hi guys, I'm back for a quick get ready with me. So this is my bare clean face and I will start with just some vitamin C serum from Timeless. So just a few drops of this and apply it all over my face and let that sink in for just a moment. Any extras goes on my hands and my neck, of course. Next, I will spritz with some of this Timeless Cucumber Spray. It's super refreshing and a good way to just hydrate. Coming in next will be some Ordinary Buffet. So this is my only kind of other serum in the morning, and this is a peptide-rich serum. I honestly don't love this that much. I prefer the one I used to use from Timeless, the CoQ10, and I'm looking forward to trying another one. All right, so just let all of that absorb, play on my phone for a bit. I'm very busy. And here we have some Cosmetics Peptide-Rich Defense Moisturizer. This was sent to me to try out, and this is a moisturizer with SPF 50, and and originally I was thinking this would be a good SPF, but honestly it's so rich that I can't use that much of it and it's already good for moisturizer. So I have to come back in with my full-on SPF, which I'm using today, the Elta MD Physical SPF 41, and just apply that liberally. La la la, apply. <laughs> oh, as for that cosmetics sunscreen slash moisturizer, it, I, it's really oily, greasy, I don't, and it smells kind of weird, so I don't really love it. All right, so now I'm just waiting for all of this sunscreen to soak in, and I'm gonna listen to some Game of Thrones podcast. This is the Bald Move podcast that I love. They do great TV show analysis. Okay, makeup time. Starting with foundation, this is the Shiseido Synchro Skin. And just apply that kind of with my finger on the middle of my face. No need to cover every single square inch of your face, especially if you have a foundation that matches your skin tone pretty well. I love the Synchro Skin because it does kind of synchronize with my natural skin tone. And just using a little tiny Real Techniques sponge here to apply it, focusing again on the center of my face. Uh, with foundation done, I'm going to go in with some Yves Saint Laurent Touche Clot and just as a light concealer in some of those extra spots that I have. Oh, my boyfriend just interrupted me. Hi, hi, hello, hi. <laughs> Don't mind me, just filming a video. All right, let me blend that in. And we're done. Okay, so next I'll put a little bit of this Benefit High Beam on. This is one of the classic liquid highlighters. I think it's one of the first ones, if I'm not mistaken. And just on the tops of my cheeks. With all my creams and liquids done, I'll put on some translucent powder and just dab that in the center of my face on the T-zone with that lovely It Cosmetics brush. All right, sculpting time. So Kevin O'Quan, the sculpting powder. I really, really love this powder, especially with this Real Techniques powder blue brush. Let me just slow it down here for a second so you can see how natural and easy this application is. Honestly, in the past when I've done contour, it's always looked like a bloody muddy mess and this brush and this powder just, I love it. And of course, yes, I'm going to use the same powder and just contour my nose a bit. I always like to add some definition to my fat, flat nose. And that's done, so I'll go in next with some blush. I'm using the Milani Powder Blush today, this lovely rose petal one that's in like this nice matte pink. Tap that onto the apples of my cheeks. And then of course brow, so this is the Anastasia Brow, with, or brow Pomade, and I use the lid, which is all dirty, to spread it out like, a, like an artist's palette. I highly recommend doing that. It's a great way to not get the actual pot of stuff messy and also to prevent it from drying out because you get to just dab your brush in there and then immediately close it off and use the lid as your little palette. So brows is probably the thing that takes me the most time. I should probably get some like microblading or something. I, yeah, I mean, it's just, you know, you want to have it like nicely symmetrical, but yet not too symmetrical. So. It's it's challenge to get nice brows, and I'm just going back and forth and back and forth. All right, that looks good enough for, for today. So moving on next to eyeshadow, I'll just start with this kind of light milky color. These are ColourPop eyeshadows. I don't know the names, but uh, follow that up with some like this nice little dusty rose color. 
And these ColourPop eyeshadows, I mean, they're pretty good, I have to say. Like, if you want individual colors, it's a good way to avoid spending, you know, $50 on a pan. And, okay, this is the Yves Saint Laurent eyeshadow, duo eyeshadow, whatever, stick. And I'm just using the dark end to go and kind of mimic an eyeliner and just using my fingers to blend that in a bit. Then the lighter end of the stick, I'm going to just put it in the corners of my inner eye for some brightness. Next, I will just curl my eyelashes, and I forgot to do a close-up of the mascara I'm using, but it is the Lancome Hypnostrama Mascara, which I really do quite like. It's not too heavy, and it's a good kind of everyday mascara that does a nice job lengthening and defining. With eye makeup done, I'm not going to go in too much with anything on the lips today, so I'm just going to use this Emile Cordon Cashmere On Lip Pot lip balm, and this was sent to me by Emile Cordon, and I have to say this is a really nice product. It is very lightweight, sheer, but feels very luxurious on the lips. It is quite expensive though, so I don't know that I would spend this much money on a lip balm. And with that, I am done. Thanks guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Should it all fall down? You love me, my favorite mistake.